sitting here looking at this old mural on this wall. It's like an overlook. People back in the day enjoying this area here in Old Fort, North Carolina. I'm going to take a walk through this little town today. It's overlooked a lot, I think, from a lot of people. As I head toward Asheville and climb up, steep climb up into Black Mountain. It's a great little town, got a lot of history in it. And this is going to be the first time I've walked through here and check things out. So I hope you'll come along with me and enjoy it. They're fixing up this building here. So it's going to be something in the future. This building right here is empty. Somebody wants to leash it. They've painted these buildings. Across the street is the police station over there. And we'll cover those buildings on the way back. There's a brewery down there. I see a motorcycle down there now. It looks like a big one. And we've got the Joppa Lodge over there. Get these little paint on these rails and steps and things. Clean their sidewalks up. But overall, the town looks nice. It's a fellowship building here. I ain't got all these windows built up here. That's a shame. I mean, windows boarded up. That's a shame. I mean, bricks look good. Just waiting for a big business to come in here. Fix up them old doors, put these display windows back. Put a nice boutique or something. Get people to come in here and stop, fix this up. It looks like they're trying to, trying to do a little bit of it. Tracks come right through here. There's another mural on the side. I like that. Yeah, right out there you can see them cross cars crossing. That's 40 right out there. We'll cross over to this town and look at this mon monument they made with this arrowhead. Old Fort was the outermost, westernmost point here in this area at the time, back before the revolution. I'm assuming in the colonial days, maybe after the revolution, but uh, Either way, it's the westernmost point for this area. A little grassy area to sit, maybe. Picnic if you come into town and just want to take a little break. Rick Hensley wants you to vote for him for mayor. Came on out 70 here to the end of town center looking at the old Ford Outdoors. Got some live bait over there for you. Look back into town here at this old gas station they got across the way. When, uh, before 40 was built, I imagine this gas station did a good business. See how big it is, it's got its bays and all with it. We got a hardware store here on the left. And uh, other businesses down through there. We're gonna cross on over here real quick and walk down this other side. Check out this mural they got up here. Like some kind of investor investment company right here, advisor. There's a look at the buildings that we just came up. There's that little park I talked about and the arrowhead down there. Yeah, this old business seen better days. Might even have been a little dealership at one time. Who knows? Could have been. Need cars up in here back in the day. Save our school together. It's a nice mural. Let's see what it says. What happened to our school September 19th, 2020? The mural depicts two scenes from Old Fort's effort to fight racial injustice here. It tells about the images there if you want to come in and check this out. Artists did a great job on that. Twitty wants to be married too. He got his signs right there. Look at that. Strange how they busted that building up and then set, set it back a little bit, but I guess it'll look good once they finish it out, maybe. 
It's like some old furniture you can come in here and buy if they were open. Got the whistle stop, pizza and subs. I need some help. All these places needing help. I'm assuming they're still open, but I don't know. I don't know if covered up. Even if it's closed, I think the cup windows would be opened up. That little business here looks like they sell antiques and things, maybe. Can't step back too far, I'll get run over. Got a neon sign up there. When it's open, I guess it's lit up at night, maybe. Just a little symbol for something here. I don't know what it is here at 23. Anybody lives here, let us know. Is that a church or something? Yeah, got a door going upstairs. I guess you could have some businesses up there. Got family care home here. You can see where they busted out the original part of this building and built this more artsy looking modern thing, which I think looks like crap. They'd been better to leave the original building, do something a little different. It's not that they didn't do a good job on the wall, it just don't fit in with the town. You need you need your town to kind of match up a little bit, I think. There's the direction we came. There's my RV down there, 40. This appears to be apartments here on Main Street. I guess people's got some apartments up there in this old building. Twitty's still, he's all over the place with, the, with this signs. Is he good? Or would y'all like the other guy we passed earlier? Who's better? Let us know below. That's about the end coming this way. Walk on over here and check out this monument. See what it's all about. Uh, Frontier Fort Early Outpost against Indians used by General Rutherford in expedition against Cherokee September 70, 1776. Stood nearby, so the fort wasn't right here, but it was nearby. Now this monument with this arrowhead on it, I read was to signify the peace between the uh, Catawba Indians and the Cherokee Indians. That's what it said online. At least I believe that's the way I read it. Let's see if that's what it's about. It talks about the fort, but I could have swore online it said something about peace between the Indians. I do know, you know that the Catawbas and the Cherokees did fight between each other at times. So it could be that. Let me stop here and look. I don't want to tell you wrong. I'm going to stop this and look. So yeah, this was erected in honor of the peace that the Cherokee and Catawba Indians came to. But it's kind of confusing because they talk about this fort over here too and they don't really mention that here anywhere that I see. Uh, they also have a fountain here that goes sometimes, I guess, but it's turned off with these water fountains. But yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize that you know, the Indians were fighting between each other as well. Any, anytime you get groups of people get together all around the world, you're going to have these different groups fight and over land and whatever. They did the same, but they finally came to an agreement. And they, I guess they had to deal with these Europeans coming out here and building a fort. And had to deal with them too. I guess that's why the Europeans uh, and uh, people from all over who came here, different places, built a fort. <laughs> kind of help protect themselves as they fought back and that's the way history went. This is the old depot here though, it's pretty. Old Fort Train Station Museum. And so you can go in here when it's, it's open. It looks, it's probably open today, but I, I don't normally go in and do museum tours and stuff like that. I have a few times, but I've watched other people do them online and they just, you know, you can't enjoy a museum just swinging a camera around you're just seeing whatever. I would point at, but, uh, so usually, usually I don't do it. I've done it a couple of times. Best thing to do is come out here and I want to encourage people just to come out here and 
enjoy the museum in person, come to these small towns and spend just a little bit of money here and help them get revitalized. Got an old caboose here. <clears throat> old tracks. Back in the day, people would have been standing out here to get on the tracks, to ride to wherever. Go through all them tunnels up through them mountains and people built. I think there's a geyser fountain built near here to honor those people. It's supposed to be out by Mill Creek, which I think's down that way. I couldn't find out exactly where it's at, so I don't know. I may get back from RV and drive down there and see if I can find it. If I do, I'll tag it on as bonus footage. Check this house out here. That's a beautiful house. Zoom up in here and see it. And zoom back out. You gotta have some good legs going up and down them steps. You'd be healthy. There's a driveway going up through there. That's a cool looking house I own. Let's walk on down. Stay in the middle of town here. That's what this video is about. And I'll get back up with you when I turn this corner. So we're gonna go on back down this stretch on this side. Town halls, town halls right here. I showed you the police department and all, so I'll go on down and get past it. Yeah, and there's the police station right there. I'll get past it and uh, we'll pick it up down there. Crossing over Commerce Street now. Got poppy handcrafted popcorn here. It says the outlet. That's people mountain bike riding up there on the building. Got a lot of good mountain bike riding up here in these mountains. A lot of hiking trails you can go on. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready for Halloween. Come on in. <laughs> Arrowhead Gallery. I imagine that's going off of that monument up there. Arrowhead Gallery and Studios. Yeah, stop on in here and check them out. Southern Paul's place to bring your pet, dog grooming and all here in town. If you're local. Gold, North Carolina Gold Trails here. All four has a lot of festivals, gold festivals and different types of festivals. If you're in town, you want to check that out, do it. Here's this brewery. Crossing over Mill Creek, I believe the name of it here. This brewery, got a lot of people inside. You can see them in there. View you just, just pass it. That's an awesome spot to have a brewery. I don't see the name. I'm going to cross over and check out this stone building over here, see what it is, and I'll, I'll look back, see if I can see it when I get over there. Yes, yeah, so that's Hillman Beer over there. And they've got an airport into the parking, so you don't go to Commerce Street up there where we just crossed, turn left, you can park back there and go in. And there must be a lot of cars back there because that, that back side along the creek's filled up. So that looks like a cool place to come in and get a drink. Got the Mountain Gateway Museum Tuesday through Saturday. They're closed today. So you can come in here. We'll go check out their building. They also got a visitor center over there. And it's about Catawba Falls just nearby here. Headwaters of the Catawba River is not far from here, right on the other side of 40, I believe. All right, let's go up in here and check this out. I think I'll call it here. On the side of their building, they got a mural of Andrew Geyser, the one I was talking about earlier where I didn't know where it was at. We're going around see if we can find it up here. Maybe it's down here. This way I sit a little old cabin. They got these plaques. Even though they're closed today, you can come out here and read these plaques about this cabin. I think they brought them here from other areas just so you can see. Morgan Cabin. Yeah, the Rumfelt. 
William Bloomfield Rumfelt and his wife Louise raised 10 children here. We got some photos and how it was built and all. This is it. The wood's still good. There's some steps. Old wooden roof. Here's another one. This is the, this is the step cabin. Thomas and Martha Allison built and lived in this cabin along King Creek, east of Old Fort in the 1860s. There it is out there, standing on the porch. There's a gathering of their family at one time. Another example of cabin and what size cabins they would have built at the time and everybody would have lived in there all together. Here's the back of that cabin. It's interesting how those top shingles go up above. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, I guess there's just a little bedroom in there and everybody just slept wherever. I don't know, I'd have to go inside to see if it's got different rooms, but I imagine it's got a kitchen, living room, and bedroom maybe. It's, I guess you could sleep upstairs in that one. So that's cool. Definitely want to come back out here when it's open. I got this beautiful area right here where they can have events and concerts maybe talk about the history right here at the creek yeah just a beautiful little area right here in town got a bridge that crosses over here I'm gonna go down there and see if it goes anywhere so the bridge just crossed Mill Creek here. It's part of a greenway here in town. Yeah, this town is a heritage, has a heritage trout designation here. So you can fish for trout. I think if you come in town, you can buy a $5 license. that will last for three days. And it's a little section of it, but there's, of course, you can go all along it and fish for trout. And I imagine a lot of people do, so. Old Fort has a lot to offer. I really think more people ought to start stopping in here and helping this place grow and revitalize. Check it out when you're in town. They have all kinds of festivals, like I said. They have the Pioneer Days and Gold Festivals and whatnot. Leaves are getting ready to change. It's beautiful up here. But I'm going to call it today. I'm not going to look for that, guys. I'm getting a little tired. It's getting late in the day, so I'm going to call it. Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour of Old Fort, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, and I really would appreciate it. So that's it. Y'all take care. bonus footage I believe this might be the geyser right here Andrew's geyser was just turned off not sure since the place is closed but if you live here comment below